um, but also I like to post the meeting videos um, on email. It's much better to come to meetings, of course, um, because they're generally have snacks. Um, once in a while, we'll have pizza. Um, just depends on the budget. But for those of you who don't know, wondering what this whole five data cap thing is, um, there's four. Uh, four primary uh, goals to PTK. Scholarship, leadership, service, and now I'm blanking. Somebody help me out. Well, the ones we're focused on are leadership and service. Okay, service to our college, service to our community. But not only that, service to students. What can you get out of PTK? Well, especially those sophomores, since the fall um, scholarships are opening very soon, um, I think in a week, um, there's about $37 million to $40 million worth of scholarships that are only PTK students are eligible for. Um, another thing that is great about PTK is that Phi Theta Kappans have a 90% higher chance of achieving their degree, whether it's an associate's or a four-year degree that's your goal, um, than other students with a 3-5 in 12 units, the minimum qualifications for Phi Theta Kappa. That's not a 90% better rate than all students. That's students who are already getting good grades. Um, also, I think it gives you a chance to do a little bit of school type stuff that you want to do. Um, in addition to that, we have nice little leadership uh, retreats or um, conferences like we have at the end of this month. Um, we have two great um, conferences that we go to. Uh, one is the regional uh, conference in March. Uh, who, remember what school was? The, New presidents from I think it's Birmingham. So we'll be going to Birmingham this um, this March, and then the international convention is in Dallas. Um, this year in the Dallas area. Um, why am I telling you about that now? Well, um, one, the convention is expensive, so we kind of have to get early committals um, from people who want to go. Two, if you're like me, you would prefer to fly to Dallas rather than take a coastal bus. Um, I, I drove back and forth uh, to Dallas a couple times um, this summer because my son was doing a program there or near there. Um, it's, it's 12 to 13 hours in the bus, which is doable but not fun, especially since the person in charge of the bus tends to like to leave at like midnight and drive through the night rather than a reasonable time. So, um, keep all those things in mind. Um, also, what we do on PTK is we do um, we participate in campus events. Usually, there's going to be like a chili cook-off uh, through student uh, government. Um, we've done homecoming events. Uh, we've done Halloween events in the past as well. Uh, so it's a really good way to get into campus involvement. Because, when you think about this, in three, four, five years, you're probably going to be sitting in a room with a bunch of people interviewing you for a job you really like. If you haven't done stuff in college um, to give you experiences to answer the right questions, you're not as competitive as somebody else might be. So for example, if they ask you, you know, tell us about a challenging situation in a group, we do several things like that. Doing this, that aren't school related, you volunteered for it. Um, tell us uh, about an interesting event that you participated in school or how it changed you. These are all common interview questions. It gives you something to talk about in interviews. So basically, it makes you more involved here, gives you help with money to go to a four year school, and then after the four year school, it gives you some tools. Um, in order to be successful once you get your first job, or have maybe even help you get your first job. Um, 
I know the University of Alabama has some automatic scholarships for Phi Theta Kappa uh, students. Uh, Mississippi State, one of our students last year, uh, Ariel, she got like 20 grand from Mississippi State. Um, so uh, there's a lot uh, of money and opportunity through Phi Theta Kappa. Um, but like anything in life, to get something out of it, um, you need to put some, some in. That's a good segue into the first thing up there on the board. And those are my folks that have volunteered to be part of the, uh, the leadership team. Um, they'll run the meetings. Uh, starting with the next one in a couple weeks, but I'm just going to get through the first meeting if you don't mind. Work days. We need to have Phi Theta Kappa work days in order to get ready to produce an honors in action project and a college project, both of which are due in January, the write-up one. We'll be doing events throughout the term. Now, we met in July, and we're pretty... Um, Good on what our college project's going to be, but we still need to kind of hammer out um, the Honors and Action Project. So, with that in mind, I will ask you all, what are the best days you think to do a work day? It'd probably be in the after, well, if it was on Friday, it'd be in the morning, but the other days of the week, it'd be in the afternoon. So, which would you prefer to try and find an afternoon that works for most people, Monday through Thursday, or meet, say, 9 to 11 or so on a Friday. I would do the weekday for me. Okay. I work all weekend in Century. So. Mm -hmm. That's what I figure because uh, with our four day school schedule, most of us, um, that's what I would have done as a student, is, is worked on the weekends. So Thursday might be a bit dicey because. So I'm sorry. I'm saying so those who want to go home. I have a nice class on Thursday afternoons. Um, when's the ambassador's class? Is it Monday? Monday. In the afternoons. Would you want to try to meet after ambassadors next Monday and see how that works? Okay. Okay. Um, do you, have, you don't have live on Wednesday, then. Okay. Um, would Wednesday at 1 work for most of you, or would it have to be later? I have a class from Wednesday at 3. Okay. On Wednesday. All right, just Wednesday? Okay. Can you do the live on Wednesday? Yeah, that's what you can do. I can. I think so. I can do that. What's that? Yeah, there's there's not going to probably be a perfect um, perfect day for work days. I think why don't we meet Wednesday at one? Um, we'll start here and then probably go over to the Wallace Lab, um, and we'll work on stuff. And then I can for those of you that can make it on Wednesday. Um, I can send out stuff that you can help us out with. Um, because the structure of the Honors in Action Project, I'll skip here and come back to the college project. The Honors in Action Project is something where the organization does research on a guided uh, topic. There's 10 topics to choose from. Once we do research, we look for how we can act both locally and globally. So, Locally, usually, is sharing some of our research findings. We're doing presentations, activities, events um, on campus. Then acting globally is maybe a letter writing campaign to representatives. Um, one year we did uh, Carly's Law in Alabama. We studied it before it was actually passed, um, looking at CBD and specifically CBD oil to help. Um, prevent seizures in children. CBD is kind of becoming like bacon. It's starting to get into everything. Um, but it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't make you high. It doesn't do anything other than like, you know, Tylenol would. You know, it's it's uh, inert as far as any uh, psychoactive um, 
properties are concerned, it doesn't have THC in it. Uh, but what we did is on campus, we did um, a presentation at a luncheon. Um, and then we did a letter writing campaign to our representatives. Um, and they were kind of thorough letters showing, hey, this is what our research shows. And kind of looking to educate um, representatives. Because there are, you know, there's, there's still people out there that think that CBD oil is pot, but it's not. Um, I think that those attitudes are changing, but, you know, uh, sometimes in order to get progress, you have to educate the people who make the product. So that's the type of thing we do with the Honors in Action. That's what we would primarily be working on in the work days. It's very rewarding. It's very satisfying because you guys get to sit down together and say, you know, my teachers make me study X, Y, and Z. This is what I want to look at. This is what I want to learn more about. Okay? And then share those findings with the community. Well, a college project, um, we still need to meet with Dean Jones as an organization, I believe. Did anybody meet with him this summer? Okay. Uh, for the college project this year, we're looking at doing um, kind of an etiquette project. Um, this kind of came from when we were at International Convention last year. There's several affordable meals with multiple forks and, you know, all that sort of stuff. And we got the idea that, you know, there's a lot of this type of stuff you'd kind of expect it to know as an adult, but nobody tells you. So the goal of the college project was to try and get some people who know about this stuff on campus and then help teach us um, how to, not just formal dinners, but, you know, uh, etiquette with a formal, uh, like a cocktail hour at a, at a wedding. What do you do? You know, basically it's people hang around and talk while the bride and groom take pictures, but, you know, what is the proper etiquette? What are you supposed to do during these things? In theory, many of you in the next five years are going to be married. I know it sounds weird. <laughs> it would have sounded weird when I was 18, too. Uh, but I got married at 25, you know, so that was only seven years after um, high school. So it's not that, that long. At any rate. Um, so that's what we're looking at with the college project. We can hammer some of those details out on Wednesday. I'll create a calendar event just like a difference meeting. <sighs> All fundraisers. How do you do Krispy Kreme? So what does this go to? What does the fall fundraiser go to? Well, if you're interested in going to that international convention, Josh, it's hard to tell. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> um, we do need to raise some funds for things like side trips or the only thing I would ask is that we don't go to Fritch to the video game museum. I have to take my children there in the summer. It was about an, I suppose we spent about an hour or more than I really wanted to. Uh, there's only so much you can hear about Pong. But it was fun. I'm glad I went. But I. <laughs> yes. Well, like, for example, last year we raised enough money to take the We raised enough money to have, what, half a day? Yes, they did an outstanding job. It's like, um, it's amazing when you get a bunch of smart driven kids together, what you can do at that Disney World. Um, Maybe that's what the money is for. Yeah, it's, it's kind of the extras um, at convention. And, you know, Dallas is an interesting city with a lot of. If nothing else, um, going to a world-class Texas barbecue restaurant is not going to be cheap, you know. Um, so that's the type of things that our fundraisers uh, help pay for. Um, and Krispy Kreme is really not hard to sell. We're looking at um, early November. I, I had it written down in my notes that are at home, unfortunately. Um, for that, like right after veterans day. Which doesn't seem like it's that far away, but, you know, it's only, what, nine weeks till the first week of November, so I'm just going to be here before we know it. Um, I'll get the details on that, the dates, and I'll send them via email to everyone. 
Okay, leadership conference. Those of you that are going, um, please stay after me so we can just touch base on a couple things. Um, who has there's more people in here now? You don't need to call me out. No, you had to work, right? Yeah. Okay. That's the end of this month. Yes, yeah, on so the 20th and 21st. Yes, one more. Um, anyway, I think uh, we'll change that when we get there. Um, there is some paperwork that I'll be sending you guys that, that has to be filled out. Um, because it's a 4 H camp, you're going to be doing uh, some physical activities that they want to make sure that they do something involved, or do something that you're not going to do. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure if the neural will sign you along because they got their day screwed up and didn't get their numbers in on time. So transportation is either going to be one of the school vehicles or my six-week-old minivan. I'm going to have to treat very nicely. <laughs> <laughs> um, really? Yes, it's the Clone Wars. I like the theme better than it was. <laughs> I'm very dis disappointed with episode seven and eight. Maybe nine will redeem itself, but I'm not holding my breath. <sighs> once, <laughs> once Mickey the Rat got his little paws on the franchise, that's gone. That long. Although I loved, loved, loved Rogue One. Shows you my taste in movies when all the good guys die at the end. I'm happy. <laughs> um, provisional membership. This applies to most of you in this room. What is provisional membership? Well, if you're an ambassador, you are a provisional member of PTK and you get to do it free. Okay. Um, because it's my assumption that ambassadors uh, are going to get people. Um, with a few exceptions here and there. Um, some people you know, may have a class that you struggle with or whatever. Don't worry. Um, we had one, it wasn't last year, the year before, uh, Camille uh, struggled after that first semester because she had one class like we all do at some point in college that we struggle with. Um, and so she, but she was happier than almost any person I've ever seen to qualify. Um, PTK when she finished um, her spring semester because she got her grades in the spring. But why do provisional members matter? Well, if you have any friends that didn't get into ambassadors, for example, but they're interested in getting into PTK, which by the way, when you're applying to colleges and jobs and things, it's going to require far less explanation than ambassadors. I'm not knocking ambassadors, it's just, you know, a program that's uh, unique to the school. Um, try to get them into a meeting, maybe a work day, um, or get them, I'd be happy to give them a brochure. What provisional members can do is they can pay $15 and sign a little contract saying they promise, or they understand that the $15 means that they're planning and getting a 3-5 in their first semester. Um, and I'll hold that $15 until you qualify. Okay? Um, so if you have any friends who might be interested in joining an honor society, um, but, you know, weren't selected for ambassadors, have them shoot me an email. Um, I'll also have those contracts available. I can actually send out um, to the group um, later today. One of the challenges in a two-year school is, like, how many new faces are in this room? We turn over students quite quickly. Um, but uh, membership is very important, and I don't think you're going to regret um, being active in PTK. Because if nothing else, um, it's going to help pay for your four-year education, or even um, certificates and things like that down the road. There's technical scholarships as well. All right, that's what I wanted to cover today. Um, 
any questions? I know it's a lot. Some of you are probably like, I, I spent your whole time myself and know what PTK is. That's fine. <laughs> That's perfectly okay. Um, I'll send you more info to kind of back up what I said, some of us more visual and auditory type learners. So, um, you know, I wanted to kind of introduce myself um, and get a plan for the semester. We can start that plan on Wednesday um, at 1 p.m. And I'll go into more detail about the college project and the Honors in Action project and what we need to do. Um, just like today, I'll record it. Um, so you can get a good uh, indication, not only of what's going on, but if you forget, you can go back. Okay. All right, let's have a great term. I'm excited. We've already got a good college project planned, or at least in the idea stage, we know which direction we want to go. Um, and uh, thanks for the opportunity to let me lead you. So I'll see you guys uh, on Wednesday. We'll plan on meeting that, uh, two Tuesdays from today, which would be the 17th. Um, does Tuesday work pretty well at the lunchtime hour? Okay, so we'll plan on doing our meetings every other Tuesday. Thank you.